Good evening and welcome basketball fans. My name is Patrick Lara. And I'm Connor Heason. We are brought to you live from Fred Kessley Fieldhouse in Pulaski, set for a conference matchup between the Pulaski Red Raiders and the visiting Southwest Trojans. This broadcast is provided by the Raiders Strong Network and made up of Pulaski High School students. This Raiders Strong Network broadcast and its members are sponsored by Seed Concepts Incorporated. Seed Concepts has been a local business for over two decades, headquarters right off of 32 in Pulaski. Their team works with farmers supplying seeds, crops, crop insurance, and planter ins assets. And let me tell you, they are truly a one-stop shop for all agronomy needs, providing Pioneer brand seed, plenished soybeans, milk insurance, and chemicals. Stop down. Stop down today or call 1-800-822-4548. All right, let's get it started. So I'm joined by my lovely co-commentator, Patrick, today. Are you ready for this matchup today, Patrick? I definitely am, Connor. I definitely am. So uh, if it's, it's kind of weird. Pulaski has lost the last two, but Southwest has lost the last four. So both these teams want to win this game. This is gonna be a big game for both of them. Kind of change the tides of their conference season and they can do it today. There's also one big storyline going on today and that is the fact that Coach Pol Polkowski, sorry, um, was the coach of Southwest last year. That a, is a, true. A great coach, coach for a decade, went 99 and 136 with Southwest, including a conference championship in 2018 where they went 22 and 3. So he's an accomplished coach, now bringing his talents to Pulaski, but a lot of emotion is going into this game. Um, and, you know, kind of to talk about how these teams are playing right now, Pulaski. This is one of one time that um, Pulaski's offense has look, looked super efficient, especially in recent games. Now, Pulaski's offense lost the last two, right? But their defense is playing great. Their offense is a lot more high scoring, which is a big difference. I I graduated from Pulaski two years ago, so it's kind of it's kind of different to see a new regime going on, new coaching after our legendary coach uh, David Shaw Absolutely. decided to retire or whatever. So Pulaski's averaging about 66 points per game, allowing about 64.4 points. Um, and you know, they got a very, very talented scorer in Colin Schultz. Schultz, just, just an impressive scorer, putting up 37 in a night one time. Um, and the other difference you can really see in this Pulaski team is their use utilization of their bigger players. Pulaski used to have an average height of their basketball team of 5'10", right? Now they're six, their average height is 6'1 this year. You can really see, That's awesome. see that in their bigs with um, Dylan Dorn. You can kind of see it from Justin Majal, who's injured tonight. Um, and then Sam Norman, obviously, and Dixon Holowinski are also their big man. So I think that's going to be the key to getting Pulaski the win in this one. Considering Southwest kind of isn't a very tall team, but they're very strong. Um, talking a little bit more on Southwest now. Um, Southwest, 0-4. Not a great start to the season. Uh, James Smith is currently... Um, their leading scorer right now, averaging 10 points per game, six rebounds per game. Um, and then I, one of the players that I think is gonna be key in this game to give Southwest a lot of shooting is Keenan Cruz. Averaging about 10 points per game, shooting 45% from the three point line with 20 attempts. He's gonna be one that's gonna be shooting the ball a lot, shooting the rock, um, but he, he also makes an impact on the defensive end too. 1.5 steals per game for Cruz. Um, but the biggest impact, I think, and the most efficient defensive player on this Southwest team is gonna be Mason Hermes. Mason Hermes is averaging about five points per game, shooting 42% from the field. But where his impact is seen is he is averaging about 0.8 steals per game, has about 1.2 blocks per game, which is one of the leaders in the FRCC. Obviously, you're gonna have your larger players that go to DePierre that are in the top five for uh, the blocking category, but yeah. 
for Southwest, the key to victory in this one is going to be limiting those turnovers. Their biggest problem in these last couple games has just been turning the ball over a little too much. So I'll, I'll be looking forward to seeing that. Looking forward to this matchup. Both teams kind of have, like I said, both teams fighting for a win. Um, kind of a rough start to their conference season, looking to turn it around tonight. And I hope the Red Raiders do it because, you know, uh, first broadcast back in two years, I've missed it. I uh, thought I wouldn't be back, but here we are. So. Absolutely, Connor. Yep, yep. It's good to have you back. Yeah. So, Patrick, what's kind of um, going on, um, if you want to key us in, what's kind of going on around the other athletics in Pulaski? Um, well, over in the swim action, we're currently 3-0, and or 3-1, and which is pretty good for this year. We dropped down to D2. So, um, girls basketball is going good, which is always amazing mm -hmm. to see our teams thrive in t difficult situations so yes exactly all right folks we're gonna take it to a break for a little bit you'll listen to the national anthem hear our starting lineups and stuff and we'll be back to give you an awesome broadcast i'm very excited i'll see you in a sec Good evening and welcome to Pulaski Community High School and the Prep Kessley Fieldhouse for Fox River Classic Conference Basketball. Tonight's varsity contest features the visiting Trojans of Green Bay Southwest High School and your hometown Pulaski Red Raiders. <laughs> At this time, we ask those who are able to please stand, remove your hats, and join Pulaski High School choir members Leah Dial and Maddie Hanlon in singing our nation's anthem, the Star Spangled.
All right, we are back, ready to get the ball tipped off. I am ready to go. As am I. Yeah, all right. So, Pulaski running a little bit different of a starting lineup um, due to Joey Majal's injure, injury. Dixon Holowinski's in there. He's gonna add that size for the Red Raiders tonight. All right, here we go. Starting off, Ian Jones. Kicks it to Danforth, Danforth. Looking for a drive. Gives it to Hermes. Keenan Cruz, he's gonna be deadly from that line. Jones almost fumbles it. Started by Wachuba. And there's Cruz taking three, and that's a make for Cruz. Cruz, like I said, you're gonna have to cover him at the perimeter. He's a really good shooter. Both from distance and from mid-range. Plasky's leading scorer, Colin Schultz, with the ball. He misses that shot. Cruz gives it to Jones. Wachruba guarding. The junior, Colin Schultz. Cruz. To Hermes. Hermes getting guarded by Holowinski. Schmidt guarding up on Cruz. Cruz, we're going to make a move. Gives it to leading scorer, Smith. Smith into the lane, no good. Rebound, Holowinski. Wachruba taking up the court. Gives it to Dorn. Dorn's gonna try and take a shot. And Dorn with the little floater. Dorn is gonna be deadly in the post. He's a really good athlete. And look at that with the steal. Four points already for Dylan Dorn. Like I was saying, Dylan Dorn, great leadership shown on this basketball team. Senior, Absolutely. very athletic. And that's gonna go Pulaski's way. Yeah, Patrick, this is, this is a team that, I mean, coming in with a new coach, new system, new everything, they really have adapted well. Absolutely. Obviously, you know, kind of slow in conference action, but they played those two tough teams in Sheboygan North and Notre Dame. I think this season will end up being great. Colin Schultz, with the miss three. That's all right, here we go. Jones taking up the court for the Trojans. Jones only a sophomore on this lineup. Danforth picks it to Cruz. Cruz with the three point shot attempt. He's gonna miss that. Wachruba now taking it up. Wachruba down the court. Pulaski's pushing the pace. And that's gonna be a push on Jones. Plasky's gonna take it out of the sideline here. Here we go with Truba. Checking the ball in. Schmidt 
Dorn, Holowinski with the ball, with Truba now with the ball. Nick to Schmidt, oh, was a good cut by Holowinski, just couldn't execute the pass there. Pul Pulaski, I mean, Patrick, like I said, Pulaski's kind of um, always stick to the system of like shooters, stuff like that. They've always had a lot of great outside scores. Now this year, you can, it's kind of a shift. You you get these taller guys, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, that are in there like Dorn, and Dorn, it's gonna roll around, but it's gonna go in. Dylan Dorn, hot start so far. But Absolutely. Like, like I was saying, all these guys, a lot, it's a lot more post-centric now, more than anything. Cruz taking it up the court. He's dribbling a nice pass. Hermes is just gonna miss it off the mark. Bounce around for a little bit. This is where Pulaski wants the ball. They want it in their shooter's hand in Colin Schultz. Watruba, no good. Rebound, Holowinski. That's what he's gonna be in there for. I mean, Holowinski just Absolutely. eats up those rebounds. One of the Pulaski's leading rebounders. Usually comes off the bench, but really making his impact shown so far. Cruz taking a three, another three buried for Cruz. Cruz deadly from that three point line. Schultz taking it up the court, pass to Dorn. Dorn trying to get inside. That will be a travel. So Plasky. Looking to do a little bit of press in here. Playing pretty aggressive defense so far. Like I've said, Pulaski last year allowed a, a little too many points than they wanted to. This year, they're really playing lockdown early on in this season. Yeah. Jones. Danforth. Jones with the ball now. Jones, a sophomore on this Southwest team. Schmidt guarding him. Danforth. Pulls up, but that's their big rebounder. And James Smith blocked by Holowinski. Schmidt into the lane. That's, he will be shooting too. Schmidt with the aggressive drive here. Another thing Ethan Schmidt is known for, he's also the starting quarterback for Pulaski. Yes, oh. Yeah. Schmidt I taking his first. He's gonna miss that one. Thirty-four checking in for Southwest. That is Caden Deemer, the senior. Schmidt with his second miss, but rebound by Dorn. Dylan Dorn having himself a night. Eight points within the first five minutes. That is remarkable. Great defense by Pulaski. Southwest is gonna have to take a time out. What a great job done by the Red Raiders so far. That can be said again. Really, D Dorn is playing so well right now. Yeah, Just eight point, eight out of the 10 points has been scored by Dylan Dorn. Exactly, exactly. He's playing aggressive, get, making those defensive stops, getting those offensive boards. He's looking great right now. Absolutely, let's hope he can keep it up throughout the rest of the night. I think, you know what, I'm gonna have, Patrick, I'm a guy who likes growth mindset. I'm gonna keep a growth Absolutely. mindset. Absolutely. I'm gonna I'm gonna think that he's gonna put up a couple more. Absolutely. This one. So, yes, all right. Southwest with possession of the ball. Blasky still with their same lineup in there. Here comes Deemer. Gives it to Danforth. Danforth is guarded by Schultz. Deemer trying to drive inside. Danforth, oh, he will be shooting three. That's Schultz on the foul. That's gonna be Pulaski's first foul of the night. All right, shooting two for Danforth. Danforth, one of these leading scorers on Southwest. And he makes it. He makes the first one. 
See if he can make the second one. Like I was saying, Danforth averaging about 8.2 points per game through four games this season. One of their better shooters from the line as well. Pulaski. Pulaski has two different players checking in. Nathan Josie, the junior, checking in. And also Sam Norman, the senior. Norman, another one of those good post players on Pulaski. Great rebounder, good defender. Petruba checks in Josie. Here comes Schultz. Dorn cutting into the lane, a little floater. Dorn has the ball again. Dorn retains the ball. And gets another two. Dorn is in double digits already. He is on fire tonight, Dorn Connor. Getting the steal there. Southwest is gonna retain it, and that will be a timeout taken by Southwest. Pulaski really playing stingy defense so far. Yeah. Poking the ball at, and like I said, that's what Pulaski needs to do. Pulaski needs to do this because Southwest, one of their big problems this senior has been the turnovers, has been the mistakes. Um, so Pulaski, if they can take advantage like they are now, they are going to win this ball game. Absolutely. So. That and their aggression tonight is absolutely amazing. Yes. No, you said it, Patrick. I, I mean, Pulaski's always known for playing up-tempo, playing a lot of aggressive D. Um, and, you know, you they're really sticking their defensive systems tonight, and it's the players that are making the extra effort, too, on defense that is really making a difference in this game so far. Abs yeah, absolutely. Southwest right now. Southwest, the one thing though that I will give Southwest right now is Southwest is really shooting well from the three point line. Really coming off a cruise. They're two for four on their three point attempts right now. So yeah. we'll see if they, they continue to make those shots from the perimeter during the game. All right, here we go. We're checking back in. Southwest with position. Number 34. Caden Dimer. Cruz getting doubled. He's trapped. Danforth now trapped by a trio of Plasti players. They're gonna get it up the court though. It's number 11, Desmond Stokes. Looks like they're going for a three, maybe Dimer. a two. Oh, what a steal by Wachruba. Wachruba, really good defender on this Plasti team. His brother was a really good defender. And that's gonna be a travel on the Red Raiders. Here we go. Danforth with the ball. Taking up the court. Pulaski trying to trap him. And that will be Pulaski ball. In a sea of hands, looks like it's off Southwest. Schultz passes it back to Wachruba. Wachruba guarded by Cruz. Josie with the ball, Josie. Kicks it to Schultz. Schultz, trying to make a move here. Dorn with the ball. He's guarded by Smith. Schultz into the lane, oh! A nice little lay. And that's two. Schultz with his first points on the board. Cruz with the ball, passes. Cruz takes a floater, no good. Rebounded by Dorn. Now up by Retruba. Retruba, taking the ball. Ooh, almost Ooh. stolen away by Smith. Dorn into the lane, retains it. Schultz gets a screen from Norman. Schultz coming around. What a layup, what a cut to the basket. And like, that's what Colin Schultz can do to you. Really lanky player, really speedy. He can cut into the basket super well, and that's what's been getting him these 20 plus point nights. Absolutely. Cruz taking a three. And he makes and he it. And he makes it. Cruz, he's gonna be deadly all night from three point range. Dorn, nobody covering him. Ooh. And he's gonna get a hard foul.
Hard foul on Smith. Dorn going for the dunk there. Dorn will be taking two. Dorn with his first attempt. And he makes it. And it's it. good. Schmidt's going to check in for Rachuba now. For Menace. And Dorn makes them both. Dorn now with 12 points on the night. There's going to be some substitutions. Dorn's getting checked out along with Norman. Norman, yes. Holowinski and Bach are in the game now. Bach, the youngest player on this team, being a sophomore. Blasky playing up. Jones kicks it to Smith. Cruz with the ball now. See if they try to go for another three. They might. That's been working for them tonight. It really has. Here we go, Jones. Making a nice pass, stolen away by Holowinski. Schultz, gives it to Holowinski. Schultz, takes the long three. Money! Colin Schultz with a three. That's gonna stay with Southwest. I couldn't quite catch it, but I believe it was a kickball. It was. It hit number four's Pulaski's Schultz's shoe. foot, yes. All right, Jones taking the ball up to court. Danforth with it now. Jones with the ball. He's getting guarded by Josie. Danforth kicks it to Cruz. Will Cruz go Cruz for another? Cruz cut inside, and that's going to be a foul. And I believe that's going to be a foul on Bach right there. As Smith tried to cut to the basket there. So far to give a scoring update for Southwest, Cruz is their leading scorer right now with nine points. And their next leading scorer is number 12, Danforth, with two. Bach, guarding on Hermes. Jones, dribbling the ball around. He gets picked up by Josie. Hermes gives it to Danforth. Nice shot by Danforth. Skip pass. Holowinski right into the hands of Hermes. Cruz. Hermes, Hermes cutting in. Hermes with a nice bucket. Southwest starting to gain a little bit of momentum back. Skip pass. Owens gives it to Josie. Josie gives it to Schmidt. Schmidt to Schultz. Schultz with the three. Money! Money. Colin Schultz. Now with 10 points, just like that. Schultz cut fire. Cruz, driving in. He's getting doubled. Stole away, Schultz. Schultz on the drive. Gives him a little spin, a nice little way. Jones with the ball. Flasky trying to get the trap here. Southwest gets the ball up the court. Jones dribbling it around. He's going to take a shot. Blocked. Denied by number 11, Schmidt. Wachruba is going to check back in for the Red Raiders. Cruz, looking, denied by Schmidt. Pulaski playing great defense right now. Absolutely. 
Let's hope they can get that ball back in their hands. And another stop by Schmidt. Schmidt is not letting anything through right now. All right. Looks like Cruz is going to go back into the court. They're going to give Dan Forth a shot in here. Schultz guarding. He's going to skip that pass to Smith. Here we go, Jones. Taking the ball. Jones gives it to Cruz. Pulaski playing some man defense here. Gives it to Hermes. Hermes can't make the layup. Bach with the rebound. Dorn with the ball. Dorn. Ooh. Contested shot. A good contest by Smith. Here we go. Cruz. Pump fakes. Can't get through. Stolen away. Ooh. It's going to be a foul on the floor by Wachruba. Schultz checking out, Josie checking in. Number five for Southwest, Mushin Youssef Ture is checking in. Ture, get defended by Schmidt, Bach playing right on. Schmidt with the block! That's gonna go out on Pulaski. The Truba didn't like the call. I don't know. I couldn't really tell. Neither could I. All right. Deemer back in. Jones taking up the ball. He's guarded by Retruba. And that's gonna be a legal screen on Smith. Looks like Desmond Stokes is checking into the game. He's going to check out Smith. All right, here we go. Pulaski inbound in the ball. Matruba with the ball right now. Bringing it up court. Matruba doesn't have any points yet, but that could change soon. Schmidt trying to drive, gets stuffed. Josie kicks it to Schmidt. Schmidt with the three. Money! That's going to be a money ball for the Red Raiders. What a steal by Wachumba. Wachumba, though, going to give the ball right back to Dimer. Understandable. He was about to go right out of bounds. Josie, defending on Dimer. That's gonna be Stokes with the basket. Nice little mid-range ball. Retruba taking the ball up to court. Josie now with it. Gives it to Bach, Bach. Gives it to Josie, Josie, nice little fake. Tries to go for a layup, no foul. Jones hanging up the court. Jones. Jones. Looking over. Ture. Ture. Jones with the ball. Drew in this Pulaski defense playing tight on their man. Dimer, no. Dorn with the... And that's going to be a foul. On Stokes. All right, a couple new players checking in for the Red Raiders. Number 15, Tate Girth checking in. And Sam Norman. Sam Norman as well, yes. Uh, 
All right. Truba takes it to Schmidt. Gets a screen from Norman. Schmidt looking where to go with Truba. Kicks it to Dorn. Dorn gives it to Girth. Girth to a Truba. Truba getting guarded by Cruz. Oh, that ball will be tipped by Jones. Heads up defensive play by Southwest. Jones gives it to Cruz. Cruz. Control the ball here. Get across Girth and Cruz. Like I said, he's going to be dominant from three. Another three point basket for Cruz. He has 12 on the night. Lasky. Schmidt. Norman. Matruba. In goes Dorn. Dorn with a contested layup. Cruz, trying to get trapped. Matruba, guarding up. Cruz, another three for Cruz. He has 15 on the night. He's looking unstoppable from the perimeter. Blasky, gonna have to find a way to stop that. Schmidt. Pulls up from three. Oh, close. Southwest starting to get a little momentum here. A little scoring run right now. Jones with the ball. Jones gives it to Cruz. Cruz dribbling it around. Hermes misses the layup. Danforth almost got the rebound there. Matruba with the ball. He's taking it up the court. About 3.07 left to go. Dorn gives it to Girth. Girth looking for somewhere to go. That's going to be a Pulaski timeout. Southwest gaining a little momentum. Pulaski looked like they were pulling away. Going to get back at this timeout. Um, another thank you to Seed Concepts Incorporated for sponsoring this Raiders Strong Network broadcast and its members. Again, Seed, Seed Concepts has been a local business for over two decades. Headquarters right off of 32 in Pulaski. Our, <laughs> their team works with farmers supplying seed, crop, ins crop insurance, and plant planters assets. They are truly a one-stop shop for agronomy needs, providing pioneer brand seed, plenished soybeans, milk insurance, and chemicals. Stop down today or call 920-822-4548 to get, to, to get in touch with Seed Concepts. All right, Patrick, what are you seeing? What do you think Pulaski has to do to stop this Southwest momentum. I would ultimately have to say shut down that three-point shooter. Yeah, Cruz is looking insane tonight. Cruz, like I said, averaging about 10 points per game. Surpassed that average in the first half so far. But like I said, 45% from three-point range, nine for 20 on the year. I mean, Pulaski has to watch that. And going forward, they're going to have to stop him. Yeah. All right, with Truba taking the ball out. Holowinski's into the game for the Red Raiders. Schultz recovers the ball. Truba with it now. He's going to kick it to Schmidt. Schmidt, a little bit of confusion. Schmidt gives it to Schultz. Schultz with the pull up. No. Oh, Schmidt almost with it. Good rebound there, that's all right. Jones taking up the court. Jones, driving in, he's gonna kick it to Hermes. Hermes, air ball. Schultz taking up the court, gives it to Wetruba. Wetruba with the three, no good. And that's gonna be a foul on Southwest. That's gonna be a foul on Jones there. That is Southwest's sixth foul. Toure is checking in. 
Deemer also checking in. Wachruba taking the ball out for the Red Raiders. Wachruba to Hallowinski. Hallowinski dribbling inside. That's going to be a travel. There we go. Danforth taking it out for Southwest. Dimer. Oh, stolen by Dorn. Dorn with a nice reverse lay. He is truly on fire tonight. Dorn with 16 already in the first half. Dorn with another steal. Dorn, a little floater. What a play by Dorn. He is looking great tonight. Already has four steals. Schultz almost with another. Danforth. In, miss lay, rebound Holowinski. And Holowinski's gonna create the turnover there. Just like that, Pulaski turned on the fire on defense. <laughs> Patrick's breathing heavy. He's getting a little tense. <laughs> All right, Hermes. In for Southwest is Ginter. That's going to be on the arm. Foul on Schmidt. Danforth. basketball for Southwest. Southwest trying to give it to their perimeter shooter right now. Cruz can't get it to him. Gives it to Ginter. Stokes with the three. And an air ball. Oh, good. Wachruba taking it out for the Red Raiders. We got 117 left in the first half. Wachruba. Schultz, Wachruba, cutting in. Nice pass to Schmidt, Schmidt. Money! Money three by Ethan Schmidt. Dorn almost steals it again. Cruz almost loses the ball. That's gonna be a jump ball. And it's gonna go the way in the Raiders. There we go. Truba taking the ball up the court. He's gonna drive. Pass to Schmidt, Schmidt with another three ball. Money! Schmidt, nine points, all of them coming from the three point line. Stolen by Dorn, Dorn with his fifth seal and the basket! And one by Dylan Dorn. Gonna be a little bit of an injury on the court right now. We're gonna take a little break from our commentary right now as our athletic trainer helps the fallen player. Back in a sec. All right, Guntra got up. Here we go. End of the game is Turair for Southwest. 
Dorn will be shooting one. Dorn, incredible night so far, 20 points already. And just to give you a little more of a Pulaski scoring update, with 12 points is Schultz on the night. Oh, tipped out, oh! Cruz taking it down the court. Watruba, Watruba. Saves the play. It will be a foul on Watruba. As I was saying, the other leading scorer for Pulaski right now is number 11, Ethan Schmidt. Cruz shooting two. Cruz with 15 on the night. He's going to make the first one. Cruz taking his second attempt. He's going to miss it. That's going to be a rebound by Dorn. Dorn with five plus rebounds already on the night. Schmidt taking it in. Hallwinski gets the rebound though. No shot. It's going to be Southwest's eighth team foul here. Hallwinski shooting one and one here. Eight seconds left to go in the first half. First good, no good, rebound by Hermes. Southwest taking up the court. Cruz shoots, no good. And that is the end of the first half of this game. Yes, exciting first half. Pulaski holding a 19 point lead. They are looking great on defense right now. This has been exciting so far, Patrick. Exciting uh, game yeah. back. I'm excited. This, this has been great. I'm excited for the second half. But yeah, we will come back to you in a little bit. Me and Patrick are going to get a little water in our systems and come back at the start of the second half. We'll see you then.
All right, welcome back, Red Raider fans, from that exciting first half. Thank you for tuning in for the second half of the action. This Raider Strong Network broadcast and its members are sponsored by Seed Concepts Incorporated. Seed Concepts has been a local business for over two decades, headquarters right off of 32 in Pulaski. Their, their team works with farmers supplying seed, crops, crop insurance, and planter assets. They are truly a one-stop shop for all agronomy needs, providing pioneer brand seed, plenish soybeans, milk insurance, and chemicals. Stop down today or call 920-822-4548 to get in touch with Seed Concepts. All right, let's get back in the action. Dan Forth taking out for Southwest. Southwest kind of had a rough first half. They're down by 19 right now, Pulaski storming on defense right now. They've looked great all night, but you know who's especially looked great? Dylan Dorn. Absolutely. 20 points, six rebounds, six steals. Incredible performance so far. Here we go, Wachruba's guarding on Jones. Jones. Grim the ball up. He gives it to Hermes. Hermes looking for somewhere to go with it. Hawinski, starting up. Schultz, back to Smith. Smith pulling from three point range. He's gonna miss it. Hawinski with the rebound. Yes, rebound by Dixon Hawinski. So far, no, two points only for Hawinski. But where his impact has been felt is especially in the post and especially in rebounding. Absolutely. Dorn with the ball. Dorn kicks it to Schmidt. Schmidt stolen away by Cruz. Cruz having himself big first half as well. Had 16 points in that first half. Also had two steals. Danforth giving the ball around. He gives it to Jones. Jones misses that. Cannot get his first points of the night. Which Ruba still looking for his first points of the night too. He kicks it to Schmidt. Schmidt back to Wachruba. Wachruba trying to drive in. Gives it to Hallwinski. Schmidt from three. No good. Rebound by Danforth. Southwest trying to get some points on the board here. Nobody scored so far. We're gonna change that right here. Hermes gives it to Cruz. Cruz, little pump fake. Jones, lots of dribble inside. That's gonna be a... That's gonna be Pulaski ball on that play. Wachruba taking it out for the Red Raiders. Like I was saying, Pulaski also has done a lot on the offensive end, especially from three-point range. Wachruba gets doubled. Swing to Schultz, Dorn, back to Wachruba, back to Schultz. Schultz kicks it to Dorn, Dorn to Schmidt, to Holowinski, Holowinski with the three-body! Dixon Holowinski with his first three on the night. Cruz getting doubled, almost slips there. Schultz stolen away. Schmidt with the lay. Cruz still on the ground. He gets up though. Schmidt now with 11 on the night. That is three Red Raiders in double digits so far. Cruz. Dribbling it around, kicks it. Jones with the three-point attempt, he's gonna make it. That's Jones with his first points on the night. 48-27, Pulaski leading by 21 here. Hawinski gets it, swiped away by Hermes. Hermes been a little quiet so far. Gets his first steal. 
Cruz kicks it out to Jones. Jones to Hermes. Hermes getting guarded by Hallwinski. Hallwinski with the contest. He's gonna Schmidt miss that. with the rebound. Wachruba taking it up the court. Wachruba pulling from three point range. No good. Rebound by Smith. Here comes Jones. Walking up the court, Wachruba guarding. Danforth. And that's going to be three free throw attempts for Danforth. Matruba getting in a little bit of foul trouble right now. Three fouls on the night. The refs are talking about it. A little bit of discussion going on. Here we go. Dead fourth. Shooting three. First one's going to go in. Dead fourth with his second attempt. A Pulaski crowd's getting rowdy. He's gonna miss the second. Pulaski's still holding a 20 point lead here. Danforth taking his third and final shot attempt here. There's the shot, he makes it. Danforth now with six on the night. Here we go, Josie checked in, and Norman checked in. Schmidt, dribble, play, it's good. Schmidt with 13 on the night. Plasky's second leading scorer. Here we go. Cruz gives it. Stokes, back to Cruz. Smith trying to drive in, gives it back to Cruz. Cruz from three, no good. Josie taking the ball up the court with speed. Schmidt from three, no good. Rebound Dorn, Dorn inside, no good. Rebound Smith, Smith, oh. Unforced error right there on Smith. Flasky still holding 21 point lead here. Norman with the ball inside, Dorn, Dorn. What a pass to Norman! Oh, it's gonna roll and it's gonna go in! Uh, Norman with his first basket of the night. Here we go. Southwest, taking it up the court. Jones getting doubled, taken away. Oh, it's bouncing around. Smith! Smith. Smith gets up, that's gonna be a foul on number 31, Norman. That's second for Pulaski. Southwest with zero fouls so far, had eight. Right off of Schmidt. Schmidt, been doing a great job of that all night. Had two deflections, actually three deflections on the other end of the court. It's his first there. Southwest spreading it out. Gives it Stokes. Stokes guarded by Norman. Stokes inside. Oh, that's gonna be a foul. Stokes will be shooting two here. That's going to be a foul on Schmidt. Stokes makes the first. 
Callum Bach checking in for Dorn. Bach, like I said, the only sophomore on this lineup. Stokes. Hit the shot, no good. Rebound by Schmidt. Josie taking up the court. Nice cut inside by Norman, and Norman will get the end one. 54-30, Pulaski up by 24. A lucky number. Norman taking his one free throw attempt here. Misses. It's gonna be tipped out by Schultz. Gonna go Southwest way. Bryce Wachuba checking in for Schultz. Danforth checking in. Toure. Cruz taking up the court. Danforth gives it to Stokes. Cruz coming around. Cruz with an open three. Cruz with 19 now. Five of those being three-point attempts. Schmidt forces the foul. That's gonna be second team foul on Southwest. Schmidt taking his first free throw attempt and he's gonna make it. Misses the second. Sam with the ball. Here we go. Cruz. Almost loses it. Bach guarding on Smith. Smith gets trapped. That's going to be a travel. Going Pulaski's way. Pulaski up by 22 here. Wachruba taking out for the Ryder Raiders. Josie gives it to Norman. Norman open in the paint again. Norman really making some nice cuts here to get to the basket. That was also a very good pass by Josie. Cruz with the three. He makes it. Cruz with 22 now. Good steal, and that's going to be on his arm. And that's going to be a technical. A little bit too much extracurricular by Cruz. That was pretty aggressive. <laughs> well, in the heat of moment, it happens sometimes. It's all right. <laughs> Shooting for the Red Raiders is Wachruba. Cruz almost getting that steal there. Although he got the tech there, Cruz is having himself a fantastic game tonight. Putting up 22, and six of those coming from the three-point line. Which Ruba gets his first point on the night, taking his second free throw here. And he makes it. 59-36, Pulaski, Pulaski. Took the momentum they had in the first half, retaining it in the second half here. Blasky keeps possession of the ball. Norman checked out.
Wachruba inbounds the ball to Schmidt. Schmidt taking up the court. Nice little lay. Oh! Just barely missed the layup there. Was a good drive by Schmidt. Schmidt guarding on Cruz now. Cruz into the lane. A nice little lay by Cruz. Blasky pushing the pace. Holowinski gives it to Josie. Josie with the three. No good. Rebound Cruz. Cruz has 24 after that layup. Playing a fantastic game against this, these Red Raiders. Danforth with the ball. He gives it to Ture. Time out Southwest. Pulaski, great defense so far. Cruz is, I will give him the credit here though. Cruz doing a fantastic job driving to the basket, shooting from the perimeter, having himself a great game. Patrick, what are you kind of seeing in this, this so far? This is an extremely entertaining game and I cannot take my eyes off of it for even a second. I mean, yeah, this is what Pulaski, this is what Pulaski has really wanted. You know, they had those first two tough opponents in Notre Dame and Sheboygan North who are always consistent every year. And you know, although Southwest is struggling, Pulaski to be winning by how much they are right now is, is a testament to how well they're operating right now, so. Especially under the guides of a new coach. Yes, yes, of course, and against his former team. A absolutely. So. All right. Here we go. Inbounding is Danforth. Danforth throws it to Cruz. Josie will intercept that. Gives it to Schultz. Schultz, nice little lay. Josie with the speed put on the burners. 14 points for Schultz now. Jones cutting through the double team. Still getting double team. Cruz with the ball. Cruz passes it. Stokes. Cruz almost loses it. Blocked. Oh! Altered by Holowinski. Holowinski. Doing a great job in the post for the Red Raiders. Schultz. Gives it to Wachruba. Wachruba with the three-point attempt. No good. Jordan trying to tip that out. 61-38, about 8.49 left to go in the game. Jones with the ball, Jones dribbling it around. He gives it, Danforth, back to Jones. Jones, spinning, and that's gonna be a, another foul on Wachruba. That's gonna be four fouls for Wachruba so far. Check, checking in for the Trojans is Hermes. Here we go. Southwest trying to get something going right now. Here we go. Taking out his Danforth. Danforth is covered by Schultz. Danforth gives it to Jones. Wachruba guarding Jones. Jones. Dorn, covering Hermes, Josie, guarding Cruz, they're not, and that's gonna be a push on number three Cruz. Southwest, a little bit of frustration shown on Southwest right now. Absolutely. Josie playing great defense there for the Red Raiders. Wachruba, stopped, oh, recovers it. That was a heads up play by Wachruba. Hollowinski getting a nice basket inside there. Hollowinski now a seven. Cruz, 
with an air ball. Misses the three. Josie kicks it to Hallwinski. Hallwinski inside. Hallwinski takes advantage of the mismatch. Gets the basket. Hallwinski now has nine. Dorn with another steal. Yatsi with a nice little play. Yatsi indeed, Patrick. <laughs> Double team, Schultz, oh, getting the steal. Schultz with the steal. Josie gives it to Dorn. Dorn, another basket and one. 24 points for Dela Dorn. Holy wow, that is amazing. I really like your catchphrases, Patrick. Uh, they, holy wow, we got Yahtzee in there. Well, we gotta keep it PG somehow. <laughs> I, I, I guess you're right. Pulaski now holding a 31 point lead here. 7.23 left to go. Dorn shooting one. He makes it. 25 now for Dylan Dorn. Oh, almost stolen away by Josie. Josie tries to get the rebound. That's gonna be rebound by Halowinski. Josie pushing it up the court now for the Red Raiders. He's gonna go inside. Just miss it. Off the hands of Hermes as he was standing out of bounds. 6.59 left to go. Girth checked in for the Red Raiders. Josie getting covered hard, and he's gonna force the foul on Jones. To give you a stat update for both teams right now in terms of scoring, Cruz leading Southwest with 24. Number 12, Danforth has six. Number 15, Hermes has two. Number 20, Jones has three. And on the Pulaski end, number 32, Holowinski has nine. Number four, Schultz has 14, and number three, Dylan Dorn has 25. What I'm really impressed with too by this Red Raider team is their halting of Southwest leading scorer, James Smith. Absolutely. They've been playing great defense all night. Dorn into the lane, yes! A nice little lane. 27 points for Dylan Dorn. That's gonna be a time out for the Trojans now. Pulaski holding a nice little lead here. So, just as we're on this timeout, another thank you to Seed Concepts Incorporated for sponsoring this Raider Strong Network broadcast and its members. Seed Concepts is located on, is a local business for over two decades. Headquarters right off of 32 on Pulas in Pulaski. Their team works with farmers supplying seed, crop insurance, and planter asset. All right. They are truly the one shop, stop shop for all agronomy needs, providing Pioneer brand seed, plenish soybeans, milk insurance, and chemicals. Stop down today or call 920 822-4548 to get in touch with Seed Concepts. All right. There's Trying to keep this momentum here. Up by 34. This is, this is Pulaski's greatest margin of victory in a while so far. Six minutes left to go. And that's gonna be a 10 second violation. Pulaski 
Really stopping this Southwest offense from getting going here. Six minutes left to go. Josie dribbling the ball around. Schultz with the ball. Schultz driving inside. Nice little lay. Schultz now with 16 on the night. Blasky really working through their leaders here. And Dorn and Schultz. Both of them are the leading scorers for Pulaski so far. Checking in is Schmidt and Bach for Schultz and Dorn. Just as I was talking about them, they get checked out. I know, right? <laughs> All right. Here we go. Girth is also in the game. Cruz dribbling the ball around. He's guarded by Josie. Josie! Nice little deflection there. All right, Jones. Taking the ball out for the Trojans. Trojans need to get something going quick here. Smith gives it back to Jones. Girth guarding on Jones. Bach guarding Smith. Here we go. Smith still looking for somewhere to go. He gave it to Hermes, he gave it to Jones. Smith now back with the ball. He gives it to Cruz. Cruz dribbling it around, gets a screen, takes a three. No good, rebound by Hermes though. That's what we've been kind of looking to see from Hermes. Great rebounder for Southwest. Schmidt, long skip pass to Holowinski. Holowinski with the basket. 11 points for Holowinski. The Trojans are truly trying to break into the house, but the Raiders are not letting them in. No, they just, uh, yes, Patrick. I like it. Cruz looks to go for a three. He misses it. Josie taking the ball up the court. Nice pass to Schmidt. Schmidt, mid-range shot. No good. And that's gonna be a Southwest ball. Travel, they're gonna say, on Bach. Walaski. What I've also liked, oh, Bach with the steal! <laughs> Callan Bach getting his first two points on the night. Cruz. Kicks it, Hermes, mid-range shot. Hermes knocks down the mid-range. Six points for Hermes. Schmidt gives it to Bach. Bach. Stuffed by Smith. Jones pushing the ball down the court. Blocked by Schmidt. Denied. Stokes checking in. Jones checking out. Smith checking out. Pulaski subbing in number 13, Lawson Fabry. They're also subbing in Sam Norman. Tate Girth is also in there. Southwest subbing in Gunter. They also have number 22, Williams. Deemer in there as well. And that's gonna be a turnover by the Trojans. 3.22 left to go. Pulaski has the ball, Girth taking out for the Red Raiders. Josie with the ball, Josie kicks it. Fabry, no good on the three. That's gonna be no good. He will be shooting, Deemer will be shooting too. 
That's going to be a foul on Bach there. Fun game for Pulaski in this one. 36 point differential right now. Deemer misses the first. Here we go. Second shot by Deemer. All right. Gonna be a timeout now for the Red Raiders. Patrick, this has been a fun broadcast back. I'm, in, I'm enjoying my time here. Good. This is going great. I am definitely glad you're enjoying the time. Yeah, 35 point lead for the Red Raiders. Now, I say you gotta stick around after we're done broadcasting because we have our post game interview led by Logan Winkleman will be interviewing our coach and a couple players. So That'll yeah. definitely be an amazing highlight of tonight's game. Yes. On top of many others. Yes, yes. You know, like I said, this has been a fun broadcast. Haven't I haven't broadcast in over a year and a half, so it's been an interesting experience. But I want to thank all the crew for all the hard work they've been doing for offering me this in the first place. They're all doing a great job so far. Yeah, made it a fun experience so far. All right, here we go. 3.08 left to go in the game. Pulaski with possession of the ball. Southwest with their same lineup still in there. Pulaski with their same lineup in there. Josie taking it up the court. Pass to Girth. Girth to Josie. Norman, gonna give him a little screen. Josie. Fabry. Fabry with the three. No good. Girth almost steals it back. Stokes with the ball. Stokes is gonna try and bring it up the court now. Stokes driving in. That's going to be a charge. Norman takes the charge. Offensive foul there. That is Southwest's seventh team foul. All right. Norman, just give it to Fabry. That's gonna be Pulaski ball. They're gonna say it was tipped up by Deemer. Josie with the ball. Girth passes it back to Josie. Bach. Josie making a couple moves. Gives it to Bach. Bach. Little pass to, oh! Josie tries to make the extra pass. That's gonna be a turnover for the Red Raiders. We got a two minute warning now. Left to go. Two minutes left on the clock. Beamer. Kicking it. Giginter. Deemer. To Torre. Torre. Deemer with a tough bucket. Bach taking up the court. Into the lane. No good. Rebound by Stokes. Gonna be on the arm. He will be shooting a one and one. Both teams have seven fouls. Now, as we kind of reflect with this last minute left, Pulaski did a lot of things right in this game, especially on defense, forcing turnovers, getting steals. They 
Pulaski has kind of a tough schedule coming up, but if they carry on playing like this, I don't think they'll have to worry about many opponents. And on Southwest end, it's just gonna be cleaning up the turnovers going forward, making sure everybody's on the same page. Next on the Red Raiders schedule is the Red Raiders will take on the Bayport Pirates at Bayport. So that's gonna be a big rivalry game. Hopefully tons come out to that one. From my experience, it's always a really fun game, so. Josie taking it up the court. Here we go. Three by Girth. Girth misses. Norman with the rebound. Norman can't get it. Ginter. That's going to be a foul. Foul on number 22, Bach. 50 seconds left to go. Like I said, stay for the end of the game as Logan Winkleman will be doing our post-game interview for us. There we go. Get it. Spanking the first free throw. He makes it. It's going to make it 78-48. Plasky still up by 30. Gade makes the second. Bach. Kicks it to Josie. Josie taking it up the court. Josie. Gives it to Fabry. Bach with the three. No good. That's going to be a rebound by number 22, Williams. Ginter makes the three point bucket. This is the 10 second mark. Norman with the basket. Pulaski puts Four, up 80 three, in this game. Two, one. Point five seconds left to go. Huge win for the Red Raiders here. Huge win, I will say, for Coach Polkowski as fight beats his former team, decade-long coaching tenure at Southwest. In his first year with Pulaski, he knocks off the Trojans. This is the first free throw. Makes the second. All right, and that will end the game. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a Red Raiders W. I had a great time broadcasting tonight. Me and Patrick had a great time. Absolutely. We're gonna send it down now to, <laughs> hold on. We will send it down to Logan Winkleman in a little bit here. Huge win for Pulaski. I had a super fun time broadcasting. It was nice to be back in the booth. All right, Patrick, do you got any words, lasting words to leave with the Red Raiders? Mm. Other than amazing job to the boys basketball team, and I hope the best of luck for the rest of the season. And like I said, all right, we are going to now send it down to Logan Winkleman. Like I said, thank you guys for watching. Here we go.
great win tonight, Coach. How are you? How were you feeling heading into the game against Southwest, especially after coaching there for 10 years? Um, you know, the emotions are obviously there, but obviously it's just a game and, and we treat it as such and we didn't build much going into that. Um, you know, we, we had to take care of our own business coming off of two losses, so that was a big part of moving forward, just making sure we're doing what we should be doing. Next up is an away game on Tuesday night against Bayport. What are you doing this week to prepare for this big matchup? Well, letting this one uh, sit in for a while, it's, it's good to get a win. Uh, but obviously, it's, the sights are on Bayport, and obviously, uh, these guys know better than I do, Crosstown Rival or, or nearby. So um, there'll be a lot of fun building up to that one. All right, thank you. All right, great job tonight. You had a lot of points outside the arc today. What do you think helped you be successful tonight? Uh, just uh, teammates were setting screens, and I was getting open hitting them. Uh, what has been your favorite moments so far this season? Probably Sam taking that charge. All right, thank you. Great game tonight. Being the leading scorer of tonight's game, what do you think caused you guys to be so successful? Um, I'd say it's more of a team game, just passing, making baskets. What are you most look? What are you most looking forward to for the rest of the season? I'm um, just playing with the friends, winning games. Thank you. Yeah.